Currencies continue to track in consolidation mode while U.S. equities are trying to extend their recovery run. There seems to be some holiday hangover that market participants are still needing to shake off with nothing of consequence to talk about as far as moves go. We continue to cite Euro dollar 115 and 11215 as the levels that need to get broken on either side for a clearer insight into things, and while we chop around in between, it probably won't be too exciting. We did see some weakness in the euro on Tuesday, which was likely brought on by the discouraging economic data out of the region. Awful German industrial production prints were followed up by downbeat eurozone confidence readings. On the Brexit front, chatter about a delay in carrying through with Article 50 was denied. The U.S. government shutdown has thrown the U.S. calendar out of sorts, with scheduled U.S. trade data no longer being released. Looking ahead to Wednesday's calendar, key standouts come in the form of Aussie building approvals, German trade, Swiss CPI, Eurozone unemployment, the Bank of Canada policy decision, Fed minutes, and some scattered central bank speak, including an online Q&A session with Bank of England Governor Carney. That's all for now.